All right, time for a Graves game. I will be playing against a Kane here, which seems to be Red Kane, which should be pretty like, good for me, honestly. Graves generally has a pretty good time against Kane, so no real issues there. We have a set top with Ignite, no TP, which might result in like early top ganks being pretty good. A mid lane as well, like a Lux Binding can result in an easy Silas kill, so yeah, should be fine. Now the bad thing I'm going to do for Graves here is we're going to start Red, do Raptors, and then look for his blue Gromp. Maybe I do red into his blue gromp instead of doing red raptors, because I could do that as well. Um, it's just going to have to depend a little bit on starting position from that cane. So we're just going to see how that turns out, really. Uh, with Graves, I generally tend to play very, very aggressive. Um, I mean, obviously not overly aggressive, but like calculated aggression where you can go. You want to like try to punish the enemy jungler as much as possible and just put him behind, create a lead. What I'm going for. Ward this to see what's going on if he goes for like a vertical on me. And uh, yeah, now the elo of this game is about Diamond 4, so you guys are aware, most of these players in this game are Diamond 4 on the EUS server. Let's pay close attention, oh, it looks like my bot lane is fake leashing, interesting. Pay very close attention to the situation right now, okay? We're gonna look at top lane, he came out of the bush, which instantly means I'm going for his blue buff. I'm gonna go over the wall here and go for his blue straight away. Because this means he started bot side. The set came out of the bush. There's no way. Do this to see if it's warded. Mid's already missing. That's a little scary. Doesn't seem like set's rotating though. I'm not going to smite the blue. Because there is a less likelihood of me needing smite on this. Than smiting Gromp instead if that makes sense. Because he's not going to be here in time. He's going to clear his entire bot side. He's going to do it like find it slow. And it's going to be fine. We smite this though, because this is where we kind of, like, we might need the smite actually. He's probably like walking towards his wolves right now, I would imagine. Perfect. That's not the skill I wanted to press, but I'm gonna have to live with it. I misclicked on the Q instead of putting the points in W. This man just hit level 3, that's less than ideal. Okay, try that out. All we have to do is play slow, he has no flesh anymore, so he's dead already. Kill them, good. This guy should not stand a chance in this fight. There's a Silas here, just dodge that and we should be fine. Alright, not bad. That's okay. We take those. I... If I would have just had my W, that would have been a little bit better, but I completely misclicked, so that's all me. Fuck, you have that. Oh, you don't have Ignite, so she might not have that, actually. I'm gonna do double longsword boots here. Damn. If she had Ignite there, she would have killed the cane. Where the hell did Kane go? Did he? Oh, okay. Okay. I thought he was gonna go for the scuttle here, but I guess he did not. I'll take the scuttle myself, then it's fine. I mean, my starting position right now is really good already, because I got the counter jungle on him. Still don't have my smoke screen here, unfortunately, but... Dude, oh my god, talk about bad situations. I need the spike to walk up with me here. Oh, this is not ideal. I'll just be taking my time to do his progs, I don't mind. Ah, uh, man, it's just, I really want to do that, but my Pike and my Triss both still have Flash, Triss still has Exhaust, and they just don't do the dare any, uh, they don't dare to do anything at all. Like, that Triss could have just jumped in, exhausted whoever the hell, and then finished, uh, finished at least one of them off, because they were, like, they had no summoners and stuff, right? 
Spike and Flash in. There's so much that we can do in that situation to just insta-kill a bunch of them, but they did not want to walk up at all. Those situations are out of your control, but you can't overextend by yourself. Like, I could try to hard force that fight, take the engage and pray that they follow, but that's not a good solo queue tactic, honestly. That is definitely not something you want to go for. But that kind of sucks. If the uh, Trist, like, took the initiative for some aggression right there after the Brahm has already used his Q and stuff, like, they have no defenses at that point anymore, right? So if she takes aggression, that would be just easy. Easy kills. Like, easy kill on Kane, for example, or whoever she decides to go for. It doesn't really matter. Make sure I don't lose my jungle tempo here. Flash, I can't reach that anymore. It's not even worth walking there. Should have probably tried to dash the raptor wall instead of trying to walk around. Not possible. Check the Gromp. It's down. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Kinda sucks. Let's go for my red buff here, I suppose. I think he's gonna go for his red buff, so I'm just gonna do red and then do the, the Scuttle and Top River. If he takes Scuttle and Top River right away, then I guess I could just maybe go for his red as like an aggressive invade. But I think he's going for his red first. This might this will probably allow me to go the red uh, scuttle bl blue buff on his side, probably. I want this scuttle and then we're gonna go for the invade here. It's gonna spawn. Okay, Aatrox is almost six. There he is. Gonna die. I think I just go for this here. be able to do something here we'll see Nothing. it's okay kane is bot i'll take the rift out on spawn that's fine he could go for the dragon but i doubt it very low kill game i will say no real kills dropping here but because he was just recently bot lane i'm just gonna take this instantly Could allow me to potentially do something top or maybe push the mid turret down or whatever. There's no way Kane gets to this in time, I don't think. He doesn't have smite advantage over me even if he gets here on time, so that's good. Hopefully that helps. That helps enough. Let's go. I'm gonna use this Rift Herald right now. He doesn't have TP, so we can hard shove this. We don't use the uh, Rift Herald straight away. We're gonna wait a little bit here. On it about now. Because the turret gets tankier, so if I, I, I want this to go on the lowest plates possible, if that makes sense. Uh, my Aatrox kind of greeted there. Should have respected the cane a bit more in that situation. I mean, it's still okay. Like, it's fine, really. I mean, you don't like to see the guy die, but that's up to my Aatrox. That's out of my control. Because the last plate was not something we were going to get, so him trying to go for that was not really the move. I'm gonna quickly take this down, and then we're gonna just recall, and we're gonna have a very, very big power spike. We're gonna try. We're gonna start pressuring the cane even more. Got a good amount of uh, gold out of top third here. We build the this item first, and then we go for where the hell is this thing? I'll get the pickaxe. Why not? So Kane is right there. I'm gonna just do my uh, wolves and then take bot scuttle and stuff. I don't think this guy should die here. I mean, at least I hope not. But Kane has no ultimate, so I, I don't think it's a bit of, that big of a threat right now. 
I'm just gonna do wolves here. Take bolt scuttle, blue buff, and go for his bolt side camps, I think. While I wait, I might as well clear this. Hopefully Tristana doesn't ruin my plans here and take the scuttle. That would be a very un... Please, don't do that to me, Tristana. She kind of ruins my plans with this, because now I don't get to do the exact thing I wanted to do, but I'm gonna... Yeah, whatever. Just relax. I'm just scouting. I'm gonna loop in from behind anyway, it's fine. Interesting. My luck's took some weird ass pathing choice right there. I don't know about that one. She like kind of ran around for literally no reason. I guess we just drag in here. I don't have smite now though, which is not ideal. I don't know, I feel a bit weird about what what Lux just did positioning wise there. Oh no, oh boy. This should be fine. This should be this should be fine. That, oh, because of heals, she doesn't die. You're joking, man. Jesus. Saver comes in with a spell shield heal combo. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. It is what it is. Mm. Doesn't look like I'm getting any help, so I'm actually going to not do the dragon. I'm going to take his red buff. Dragon's gonna be very slow these days, so I actually prefer taking his red here. If my team doesn't help me with that dragon this early in the game, I'm not doing it. I would much rather just put the cane a little bit further behind. Because I could do, I could start hitting that dragon, but it's going to take me absolutely years to get that thing down right now. Which I don't think is particularly worth it, considering how much I can pressure his camps. I can take two of his camps, take my blue, take a reset on my camps here. This overall gives me way, way more than taking all that invested time into a dragon. I mean, I'm not saying dragon's bad. I would 100% have done the dragon if my Tristan and my Pike would have helped in that situation. But I'm not going to solo that thing for like so long. That loses me way too much jungle tempo. I'm gonna recall. Against that team, I'm probably just gonna go steel caps, honestly. Definitely the move, so I'll take that and then I'll build uh, some components for this. Fine. Okay, in the top side here. I'm gonna walk to the red. I mean, this dragon right now, whoever's assisting this, it was on them. Uh, it's actually the Aatrox is doing that. But I, I mean, if my, my team decided that they didn't want to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Right now, I'm just cr creating a CS lead, as you can see. Like, I'm creating this tempo here. Dudes! I clicked my ultimate and it didn't go off. I'm actually so pissed, man. Are these people, like... Dudes... I, I cannot believe this. That cane gets the, like, I didn't click my, or didn't get my ultimate off for some reason. Maybe because I was stunned or, uh, like, whatever by the uh, Silas E, maybe. But the fact that my bike and my locks do not rotate there is very frustrating on top of it. Like, they just hard ignored that situation for some reason. I have no idea why. But I was, like, a fraction of a second away from killing Kane, because what my what I was about to do there was just Q ult, and the Kane would have died, but he got his ult on me, which prevented me from killing him. And actually ended up me costing me my life because, well, too much damage, I suppose. But that sucks. I have no idea why my Pike and my Lux didn't walk up there. Like, in the first place. Because they should have double died for killing me there. Because this is a really bad position to be in, if that makes sense. I don't know, man. That's... Like, the death is kind of whatever. But the fact that there's no follow-up there is just out of my control. And that sucks. Dude is dead. Perfect. And I get my double buffs back. We take that. I. That's definitely not bad. 
I mean, I still have a really good CS lead on Kane, so whatever. A death is a death. Since Spike is here, I'm just gonna use him to my advantage to just take his camps. Do the Rift Herald. bit sketched out about the situation i'm not going to lie i got it and if he takes free damage i'll take it <laughs> did that not hit was that was i out of range that could be that could suck if i was out of range there perfect I mean, this, for me right there, the most important thing is I just keep hitting the guy if I get free room for it. And my ult may have been pretty bad. I thought I was going to be in range, but I guess it was barely out of range, or at least it looked like it was barely out of range. But they, like, in that situation, they go aggressive initially, but if they don't play the put the aggro on me right away, I can just, like, sit there and be fine. Just hit the Braum just the entire time, get whatever damage I can, and then dash over the wall. I kind of want to try to pressure this for another hit on, tur on, a, on that turret, that would be good, but... It's not possible, that's fine. Why, how is this guy getting a free push-off? I, I quite literally don't understand. He actually genuinely tried to take that, okay then. That sucks, I didn't get that one. Not happy about the Triss getting it, because she is quite literally useless. Let's be real here. The dude's literally 0-1. Okay. I mean, I'm in pretty good position currently. It's definitely not too bad. I'm, I, have a ha I have a hefty CS lead on Kane by just pressuring him consistently. And then it just like overall, like objective control, fights are fine. Early Rift Herald use, all that type of stuff. We are looking very good right now. Yeah, as you can see, like I am... 60 CS up on Kane, something like that, 50. I'm just gonna take the recall right now. Go get myself my Gore Drinker, and then I think I'll just build a Frozen Heart, to be honest. Could go a little bit more offensive with it, but I don't really have to. Frozen Heart's a very, very good item. Just a pretty standard build for Graves, just like a very tanky shut up with like a good early game. Don't take my red buff here, I beg of you, Trist, you just took the other one. She is going to do this, please. You already have one, thank you. She already took my Raptors, which I'm not necessarily happy about, but at least she doesn't go for the red buff here. We see Kane bot, so what we do now is we take the red buff and we go into his top side and see if anything's up. We, we want to pressure this guy as much as we can. Lose down. Cuddle's gonna spawn. Dragon's up in 45. I have time to just walk this way, take his wolves, take his Grom potentially. No, they're not up. Okay, that's fine. Good. Just good damage on that. Not a problem. They get that. I'll hit this thing. No hook hit there, it's fine. We pressure this now, we go for this camp, we look, try to look for this dragon. We keep the pressure on Kane consistently here, so he doesn't do anything anymore. This is fine. Let's go for this camp. 
I don't want to give this guy anything. My bike is a little bit of a scaredy cat, I will say, but I guess we're just gonna have to leave then. I would have loved to try to fight that, play aggressive, like all that type of deal, but my pike doesn't want to do it there. Kristana seems to be taking all my camps here, so I guess I'll just recall. I have lost a lot, a lot of my farm against Trist, unfortunately. So even though I'm, like, taking Kane's farm, it's not, like, exponentially growing, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense, because Tristana is taking so much of my farm. So I'm actually losing a lot of CS towards my Tristana right now. I'm quite a serious problem for them right now. Where's this ward? Oh, there it is, okay. Dude, what's my team? Yeah, I think I'll flash that one then. I don't quite understand how I'm getting pressure this unbelievably hard, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> that's a lot of an engaged situation on me there. I actually thought I had more backup than I did in that situation. The Lux and the Atrix are both bolt, and I mean, I guess my Tristana is just not willing to walk off auto attack anything at all, so that's a thing, but... Like, I was tanking here for quite a long time. If Tristana comes in, like, at least sometime here and she starts hitting people, I think she would have been able to do a, long, a lot of damage. And yeah, that's too much dive on me. Like, I can't really deal with that many people hard going for me. Like, it's just not a thing. I suppose I'll go Cleaver next. You got Bold Inhibitor out of it, so it's okay, I guess. Would I have liked to not die there? Well, yes, of course, but... I suppose I was too aggressive with my positioning there, without the backup that I was expecting. So... That's on me. I'm assuming they take the red buff here. No, oh, they're going for a fight. It's not looking too good right now. Tristana's not there. Luxold could do something. I'm gonna try to walk in here. I hit Brom W. Good. My Tristana really is an extreme scaredy cat. She just doesn't walk up. Like at any point, she's just like standing so far off to the side of any team fight. Interesting. Don't think we fight this. Kill from Lux. Be punishing Kane here. We can definitely do a Baron. I'll tank this, I can just let Tristana do full DPS to it, it's fine. I am not really willing to give this guy a red buff. It's not gonna take it, okay cool. She does nothing with it basically, so I'm not gonna give it to her. Like, she's proven to me that she just doesn't want to participate in any team fight, so really... I'd rather have it myself. Got 23 seconds on Mountain Dragon, which I think we should take. We could try to look for the end here, however, like the 15 second spawn on Mountain is very consistent. I am currently 60 CS up on Kane. Still losing a consistent amount of camps to Matristano though.
I really want this dragon just for the consistency. Because in case we lose a fight and then lose a dragon, that would be no like not ideal whatsoever. Right, now we pressure Baron with mid. Or uh, the mid minions with Baron. So Tristana goes bolt with Baron. And then we could just end the game pretty cleanly, I would say. third down hit the nexus down and we are good that is it for graves if you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure the like button below also quite a bit let's see more videos from in the future hit the subscribe button as well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye